that's like the Illuminati of Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. It's a Sean Kelly fucking mastermind. Wow. And that's why I met Natasha. Mm-hmm. And she's coming on, I think, Saturday. And she was like, you got to talk to this guy, Artlanta. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what? It sounds like a really fancy, like fancy man in <laughs> Artlanta. I'm like, is that like, like, do I have to look on like Pornhub? Like, where, 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 where do I find this man? And then I looked at your stuff online. I'm like, it's beautiful. Yeah, thank you, brother. You're thank welcome. You. Yeah. Like the stuff you do, what, have you always been an artist? Have you always painted? Yeah, I've always been an artist since I was born. So, I mean, I always knew how to draw. I always had a talent. I never went to art school, but I was just gifted with the ability to draw and paint. But I didn't start taking it serious until 2020. Who, who, like, the family member influenced you? Like, did your mom, your dad, grandma, someone like buy you art supplies? No, or? it was just in school, like in kindergarten and shit. Like I was, I just always knew how to draw and all the kids were like, oh my God, you draw so good. And the teacher was like, yo, you're the best artist in class. So it was just like, ever since then. And then that's what boosted my confidence to be like, yo, I can really draw and I'm an artist. And then in 2020 is when you took off. Yeah, that's when I really started taking it. What were you doing beforehand? And how, how did 2020 springboard you into what's happening today? Um, beforehand, I mean, uh, I was doing music. I started music when I was 13. And, and I, stopped, I stopped doing art and I uh, just did music until uh, 2020 because music uh, doesn't make you no money unless you're like super famous. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're like huge. So Facts. like I had to find something else that uh, could put food on a table that I actually love to do. So, and I was like, yo, so COVID happened and I was like, yo, I'm at home board. And I'm like, yo, let me go explore my other talents. So I went to the art store. I went to go get a canvas to paint the paintbrush. I started painting. All my friends were like, yo, bro, you're really good. You should take this serious, bro. You can make a lot of money. And that's when I was like, hmm, they might be right. And I started doing it. And then shit just took off, bro. Remember the first thing you actually got paid for? Yes, actually I did. Um, so I called this lady. Um, I knew this lady that had an art gallery. Her name was Karen. And she. Uh, I was like, yo, can you put my art in your gallery? I just started painting. The first piece, she was like, nah, I don't like it. Sorry. So that made me go harder. So I started painting more. And then I showed her the, the, the next piece. And then she was like, all right, I'll give you a chance. So she puts the painting in her gallery. And she's like, I'm having an exhibition at my gallery tomorrow. Pull up. So I pull up to the gallery. And then I walk in. And then... But the painting is gone. So I'm thinking she took it down. I'm like, fuck, she took the painting down. I just put it in there. And then everybody's like, no, nah, somebody just bought it. And Racist. Now- <laughs> How dare they? White privilege. <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> but she was like, no, somebody just bought it. And I was oh, like, what? Yeah. Somebody that's bought awesome. it. Yeah, the day, the day after I put the painting. I'm like, what? And then that's what put the fire inside me. I'm like, yo, people can buy my art. But it was only... It was only for five hundred dollars, but we had to split fifty fifty, and that was two fifty. It my could first. have been five million dollars yeah. too at that point in time. Because what validation mm-hmm. is that? That it's like you have a baby, yeah, and or you don't know if it's a good baby or not. Is mm-hmm. it gonna like you know? Is an ugly baby? Yeah. And someone is validating you and mm-hmm. your baby, exactly. which is art. Yes, right. Mm-hmm. And that's phenomenal. And then how did you go from five hundred dollars to where you are now? Yeah. So, um, so after that. Then I was like, oh, okay, let me um, be strategic. And then I'm just painting, painting. And then my homie calls me. He's like, yo, Drake is having his birthday party. You should paint him and his son and gift it to him. So I'm like, yo, that's a good idea. So, But the party was the next day as well. The party was the next day. I only had six hours of painting. He called me like 1 a.m. So I can let the painting dry and stuff. So I paint the painting. Uh, and then I bring it to the party at 7 p.m. the next day before the party starts. And then the security's at the door. And he's like, what the hell are you doing with this big ass painting? It's like a six foot tall painting I painted for Drake. And then I'm like, I had to think quick. I was like, Drake's dad told me to surprise him. And then they let me through. <laughs> they let me through. Brilliant. Let me through to the green room where Drake was going to be at. I put the painting there. I leave. And then I come back when the party's jumping at like 11 p.m. I come back. It's a long ass line. And I'm like, fuck that. I'm going to skip the line. I went to the front. They remember me. They was like, yo, let him through. Let him through. They escort me like I'm a celebrity. Everybody's like, yo, who's that? They escort me back there to the green room. And I walk in the green room. Drake is in there and the painting's in there. I'm like, oh, shit. So I'm like, yo, I'm the one that painted that. He looks at it. He's like, what? For real? I'm like, yeah, it was me. He's like, nah. I was like, yo, that was me. He's like, bro, I fucking love it, bro. And then like after that day, bro, like my art just took off. Like it was history from there. What'll happen is I've I've got great editors. Yeah. So that's like I, I let you talk mm-hmm. because what we'll do is pull shorts from this. Yeah. And then what my guys will do is actually put up whatever they can find on the internet okay, or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or have your guys send me like pictures of yeah, that if exactly. they have anything. Mm-hmm. And then that'll pop up yeah. okay. in shorts. That's perfect. Which 
then goes yeah viral. Oh, dude, yeah. my YouTube Shorts <laughs> yeah, has been bananas yeah, for me. It's crazy. YouTube Shorts mm -hmm. and uh, Instagram yeah Reels mm -hmm. have been yeah, those are very powerful. And again, I'm not a 27 year old leggy blonde with a thigh gap. <laughs> With like like perfect fucking nipples. No, my head looks like my fucking neck threw up. But here oh we are. God. But God damn it, here we are. Yeah, we're here. <laughs> here we are. Yeah, bro. So now you've got a pretty exclusive client base. But talk to me about you were Canvas, but now you've gone to vehicles. Yeah. What about how how that transition come about? Man, like it it just it just happened. Like so. I did an art exhibition in Miami in the Art Basel. You know about Art Basel. Yeah. So in Miami yeah. uh, last December. And then um, my homie calls me. He's like, yo, Arlana, you want to paint my Lamborghini? And I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, hell yeah. But I'm like, yo, I don't know what to do to it. I'm just, I was like, Take yo. that fucker yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yo, I'm going to just throw paint on it. Yeah. And he was like, all right, bet. So then I uh, we, ha we have the show. I start throwing the paint on there. Everybody's loving it. Like, yo, yo. So this guy that was there, his name is Neil. He's 6ix9ine's jeweler. 6ix9ine uh, the rapper. Yeah. And then... Um, and then he was there. He's like, yo, I love it. And then he calls me a month later. He's like, yo, I have 6ix9ine on the phone, yo. And then 6ix9ine's like, yo, Arlan, I want you to paint all my cars. And then I painted all five of his cars and that shit just went fucking viral. And then everybody's like, yo, paint my car, paint my car. Now I'm charging 20K to paint a car, 30K. And like, it's just going out the roof. That's well, it's, say. you've, you've, again, I'm a student of business. Yeah. Right. Um, mm -hmm. I had a, a girl come in from and I met from the mastermind, Alexis Fox. Mm -hmm. She's been the adult film star for 13 years. Yeah. But she has a coffee company. OK. She has beer. Mm. She has wine. Wow. She uh, does uh, produces and hosts comedy like face offs mm. where people get up and just talk shit to each other. Wow. And I told her, I said, honey, I don't care about how many AVN awards you won for double penetration bukkake videos <laughs> in fucking Cabo at a donkey show. No like, way. I don't care about that. Yeah. But let's talk about how'd you get into coffee? Mm. How'd you get into like cannabis? Mm -hmm. And so I'm a student of people, not only your success, mm -hmm. but what I love talking about is how did you do it? Mm -hmm. And the one thing every entrepreneur has, present company included, is that fire in your belly mm -hmm. that whether you've got kids or family or it's just you yeah. to say, I don't want to live yesterday like I did. I want to make tomorrow and today better than yesterday. Wow. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. And what little one degree changes do mm -hmm. I have to make in my life mm -hmm. to be a better person? Yeah. That's so and true. you need to treat everybody nice. Mm -hmm. You expect nothing in return. Yep. But when you start to create a widget, a mm -hmm. product, a service mm -hmm. where you get people like Drake and six, nine, another motherfucker's calling you. It's like, okay, um, it, I'm probably undercharging at 30 K mm -hmm. right. Because yeah. then it becomes, I don't care what the price is. Yeah. Just, I want you to do it for me. Yeah. That's true. Right? Are you painting mm -hmm. cars here while you're in Vegas? Uh, yeah, we're supposed to be painting a McLaren, um, tomorrow. That's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Is it, is it from McLaren or is it someone that's got a McLaren? That's uh, somebody has got a McLaren and they're paying you to just go ahead and do it. Yeah. Just go ahead and go crazy. Awesome. Yeah. And do you like, it's like a Jackson Pollock. Yeah, exactly. Like, right. It's mm -hmm. like, it's like an automotive, like a Pollock, what you're doing. Yeah. And I love whether it's you or you, you've got people now probably do your social media shit, mm -hmm. but it was really good that I saw a comment that it was like, anybody can do that. Mm -hmm. And it was, you whoever goes, you're right. Mm -hmm. Anybody can. Yeah. And that's what I want to do. I want to mm -hmm. make like, anybody can do this. Yeah, exactly. It's okay. Yeah. Like what's yeah, it's like, not a problem. <laughs> you didn't have the fire to go to get into Drake's, you know, thing mm -hmm. to get that painting in front of him. Yeah. You know, I did. Mm -hmm. And so now are you exclusively vehicles or do you still also do canvas? No, I still also do canvas. The vehicles are just like more fun for me. Like it's just, I'm just having fun with it. Just throwing the paint, having fun, just expressing my art. You know what I'm saying? That's why I love to do the vehicles. Let's talk about the vehicles for a bit about, I, I just want to crawl on your brain a yeah. little bit. Cause mm -hmm. geez, 27. Yeah. What the fuck dude? You know what? <laughs> I, but I love that because you see all those other fuckers running around like pissing on 7-Elevens or whatever. Yeah. They're 27. I'm like, go. Mm -hmm. You know, the world needs ditch diggers. <laughs> I'm happy with my future knowing that people like you are in like young and you're, you're coming up, mm -hmm. right? It's yeah. super cool. Yeah. So talk to me about your impetus before you paint a car, like the color scheme mm -hmm. and all that. Is there something like, do you meditate? Do you think on it? Or are you just like, fuck it, I'm going to go. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes I uh, color coordinate. So like I did this Rolls Royce and the interior was orange. And the exterior was gray, but I did the orange splatter on the gray and it came out like crazy. And I did that with, with a couple other cars. So like sometimes I'll match the interior with uh with the paint 
or sometimes somebody just they just be like yo throw every color on there so it just depends on what they want and then we just like yo we agree to what color you want or whatever it is so and you're you're based out of atlanta no, no, Miami. So you're in Miami. Yeah. I love Miami. Yeah. I was just there in July. I went on a yeah. cruise. Oh, yeah, Miami's fucking, amazing. Dude, South Beach? Yeah. You find me one girl <laughs> that's under a nine in South Beach, and you got fucking glaucoma. Yo, that's <laughs> You have fucking glaucoma. Oh, yeah, it is. There, I have never, I, I, Latino girls aren't my thing. They mm -hmm. are now. Yeah. I'll fucking drink horchata with you. <laughs> All fucking day. These, and I'm there with a girl I was dating at the time that, I'm look every fucking bitch there. Yeah, Central every, South America bro. and nice. And the asses are like nor like not fake. Yeah. Like they put like six pounds of collagen in there. Yo. It's like, no, that's just good genes, it's bitch. Good genes. That's many yeah. cartel genes. <laughs> like that's that's cocaine family oh money. Oh my god, for real though. But th those women are stunningly attractive. Yeah, because all the beautiful women from around the world, they go to Miami. So that's why. Is that what, I mean, that's what it is? Yeah, that's why. I, it was my first time in South Beach mm -hmm. and luckily like my girl was fucking chill because she also was checking out girls too. I'm like, look at her. God damn. Look at that. Like that should be in the Kentucky Derby. Yeah. Like that should be yeah, out, to, out to, Derby. Out, that should be bread. Like she should be selling her fucking eggs on eBay or oh something. Oh my God. Holy fuck balls. <laughs> that was the part like, I always thought we have good looking girls here in Vegas because yeah. of the party scene and mm -hmm. all that, which that's not my jam, but whatever. Yeah. But then you go to South Beach yeah. and you better fucking hit the reset button yeah, to Miami. whatever type of expectations you yeah. have in terms of what a gorgeous person looks like. Yeah. They're in South Beach. Yeah, Miami has them all. Miami has mm -hmm. got it, man. Yeah. And you go to um, Versailles for that Cuban sandwich mm. is fucking illegal. It should, it's, it's so good. Damn. Do that and the Cuban coffee yeah. and those old fucking Cubans with the white linen yeah. outfit with the hat. That's, yeah, on, yeah, that's, the about. that's the life. <laughs> if I could ever retire, I don't speak Spanish. Yeah. I got chat GPT, motherfucker. Exactly. We'll have a conversation. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Hell I love yeah. AI. <laughs> but those guys, they've got talk about winning life, mm -hmm. sitting there drinking their little fucking coffees in little Havana, mm. wearing all white with their linen. I'm like, God damn these motherfuckers. I know, bro. Just sit there and shit talk Castro the whole time. <laughs> Oh my god! Shit talk Castro. Yeah, but that. So your your base. How long have you been in uh, in Miami for? Uh, like a year and eight months. You love it? Yeah, I love Miami. It's the best city in America. Why Why do you love it? Uh, just compare because I used to live in L.A. for six years and like comparing it, like Miami's way better. The weather, um, the energy, the people, the opportunities. Like it's just it's just it's brighter and it's just more positive. But you guys have messy. Yeah, and Messi's Fuck out there. Like Messi. Like, like Messi came to Miami. Jesus. You know Miami. You just, know Miami's got something going yeah. on. If the greatest soccer player in the mm -hmm. world, football, whatever, yeah. sorry, yeah. fuck you. <laughs> We're in fucking Vegas. It's fucking soccer. <laughs> my balls are on your chin. Where's my fucking dick? Oh Stop my it. God, bro. Dude, yeah. I have a big following in fucking Great Britain. Sorry. <laughs> oh fucking my God. but it's it's like we got Messi yeah. came here. And holy shit. Yeah, one of the greatest to ever do it. One of the greatest to ever do it and so i mean good for you yeah do you travel a lot now to do like to do stuff yeah yeah we just got back from um dubai we was in tokyo we was in new york um arizona la um san francisco and yeah, we travel a lot what's we your favorite city so far you've gone favorite to? city is either tokyo or dubai <sighs> i love it's so different why yeah, talk so to talk let's say they're both number one mm -hmm. why Okay, so Tokyo is because Tokyo is the cleanest place in the world. You walk there, there's no zero trash. And the crazy thing is, you won't see no trash cans. So I'm like, where the hell do they put all the trash? And there's no <laughs> trash cans on the road. And it's so clean. And I'm like, damn, it's so clean. They're so organized. Like, they're ahead of us, like 20 years ahead. Like, I'm on the escalator. And, like, everybody's on the right side of the escalator going up. And, um... And, and no, on the stairs, everybody's on the uh, right side on the stairs going up, and everybody's on the left side of the stairs going up. So it's not like all confusing and shit. Now, so just, they're so organized. Just so you know, you know Atlanta, my dad, God bless him, he's mm -hmm. 81 years old, told yeah. me when I was like 13 or 14 years old, Jeff, mm -hmm. but what, dad? You know what it is about the Asian women, about Asian girls? I go, mm -hmm. what, dad? He goes, their pussies are slanted. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what does that even mean? I don't know. <laughs> I've never been with an Asian woman. Yeah. I would like to, though, if any of you are out there and you're into this, yeah. you got some daddy issues. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> but I've heard, like, what about the technology there is like bananas? Yeah, it's bananas. All the toilets are heated, heated seats. Oh, those fucking, they, fucking they, bidets. They, wa they wash you. And, like, it's fucking crazy, dude. It's fucking insane. Do you have a bidet at your house? 
A what? A bidet? Bidet? No, I don't. Oh, Artlana, yeah. if there's anything you take from this mm-hmm. conversation with Jeff Fargo, yeah. get a bidet. Yeah. It washes all your kibbles yeah, yeah. and bits down there. No, no. Let me tell you something. You get a girl get, get, goes to town down mm-hmm. there. You get a, you got a nice girl that eats ass. You're, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah, one of you my close a, friends likes his ass oh, eight. I'm not gonna say his name. Dude, I just I just found out about it a few years ago. I'm like, where has this been my whole life? <laughs> And now the the smooth the way I the way I ease girls into it is yeah. they come over to my house in my master bathroom. There's a bit, and they're like, "Oh, bidet's there. Why have bidet?" I go, "Cause I'm clean." <laughs> oh, the, hey! It, it, basically, now going down there, it's like fucking Bacchanal buffet at Caesars. <laughs> I think I have like eight hundred fucking five star Google reviews <laughs> of my fucking taint and asshole. <laughs> Oh my God. It's you just, you need to get, get nice and clean there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, the, the move is this while you're taking a dookie, you have to turn it on, have the water running while you're taking the dookie, because sometimes it's like you're wiping and it's like you're wiping a fucking marker. Like it doesn't stop. It's what just always fuck? like that little piece of shit is always on oh, your fucking toilet shit. paper. This gets it all clean for you yeah. and you get it clean. And then when you get older, you get hair. I go about every five weeks, I get waxed. Yeah. I get all my shit waxed. So it's nice and cl- it's like a landing strip yeah. fucking down there. You, <laughs> could, you could drive F1 on my taint. It's fucking smooth and clean and oh fast. And I get these, there's just, there's these girls now that they're either like, oh, hell no. Or like for me, my, my demo is a woman in her forties. Mm-hmm. Cause there's nothing hornier than a woman in her forties. Wow. <gasps> In the mills. Oh, <laughs> and they've got kids already, and they're uh-huh. fine with that. And I'm, I have a vasectomy. I'm fixed, so we're good. <laughs> I, I have no diseases. We're good. Yeah. It's like let's roll, bitch. And there's ones that they'll fucking do a timeshare down there. They'll fucking camp out. <laughs> <laughs> they'll camp out. It is. I'm just saying. Get yourself a bidet. Yeah. Get yourself nice and clean down there. <laughs> get yourself a nice girl that'll fuck your asshole with her tongue. What? <laughs> That's, That's, That's it. That's it. That's it. And you'll be like, God damn it. That fucking Jeff Fargo guy was right. Oh my God. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Cause there's so, again, I don't get into the whole like guys are like pegging all. No, no, no. Yet, no, no. more than a finger. No, not yet, no more no. than a tongue. No, Yeah. but you get a nice girl with a nice tongue down there. Oh, <laughs> get that for your pad in fucking Miami. Ew. Just treat yourself to a bidet. All right. Say less. There's nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. <laughs> so you were, you're from Atlanta. Yeah. How long were you there for? Uh, born and raised. Like, okay. Um, Really, like 18 years. Great town. Mm-hmm. Great town. Yeah. Th- that's one of the best towns in the country. Yeah. I think just for, for commerce, for business, mm-hmm. for people. Um, it's the South. The floor, Florida's not the South. Yeah. It's Southern, it is, but it's, it's not southern, the yeah, South. Not, yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, my, the, the girl I was dating was from uh, Winder, mm. um, Georgia, which is uh, near um, Athens. Oh, yeah. I know what I and so, and she's country. Like she makes biscuits, does the whole thing. Wow. Yeah. Our first date, she got me because she did a whole full meal at her house. She's also mm-hmm. hot, redhead, <laughs> thigh gap, fucking hot as shit. Yeah. And age appropriate, 42. But for dessert, I go, I'll go to Publix and I'll get us some chewy chocolate chip cookies. Mm-hmm. No, Jeff, I'm going to make some from scratch. <laughs> Damn. Bink. He said bink. I stayed over. I spent stayed the night over. that night. I spent Hell the night yeah. that night. Shit. That was it. it these days, my love language isn't physical touch. It's cooking. Mm. I need a woman that can cook. Mm. That is true, though. If you, if most women yeah, don't. And I that's know. why you find a woman that has like just two or three go-to meals mm-hmm. and can cook for you. And you, I, I cook as well. I cook for her. But that's a love language. Yeah, that's true. You find a good girl that that's sexy. Mm-hmm. I like, love a woman cook. It's oh, amazing. She puts on like my Metallica t-shirt. She's fucking yeah. making breakfast. Oh, I just love when a woman serves me like cash that yeah. check, man. Yeah, I, I will do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. But if you, it's, it's nice again, to be traditional, mm-hmm. to be served. Yeah. And it's funny now because the world is different and you got to be careful with offending mm-hmm. people. And I'm like, Oh, fuck me. Uh, no. I know. You know what? If a woman, if, you know, I will go down on her for half an hour and make her come at least four or five times. <laughs> Like she'll squirt like it's a fucking Bellagio water show. <laughs> and in return, she's going to make me steak and eggs in the morning. That's a fair trade. Yeah, that's a fair trade. That's a fair trade, yeah, I think. Fair trade. That's not, I'm not taking advantage of her. Mm-hmm. This isn't fucking, uh, you know, she didn't come over here in a shipping container from mm-hmm. fucking Wuhan, China. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let, let's just, let's just do our thing. So are you, are you single? Are you dating somebody? Are you like, what's going, you got something in every city, don't you? Uh, you I got can't, something I in every city. I can't, I can't say this. Hold on. Because here's what you, you're quiet. 
Yeah. You're, you're introverted. And most artists, yeah. I think, are because mm -hmm. everything's going on up here. Exactly. And women love that. No, they do. Because you know what? You keep your mouth shut. Yeah, that's You won't so talk true. about it. So true. That's. Yeah, you dude, know. You know what's up. Dude, yeah. That's the. You just listen. You get the HPV vaccine and you're good to go. <laughs> that's all you got. Everything else, penicillin. Good. Mm -hmm. Good to go. Yeah. When you get older, you have kids yet? Nope. You want to have kids? Yeah, I'm going to have some kids. Have kids. You'd be a good yeah. dad. You'd be yeah, a good yeah, dad. Yeah. You Because you're, you're self made. Mm -hmm. and you are coming from a place of you work your ass off yeah, and you hustle. Yeah, exactly. Nothing was handed to you. Nothing. And you'll be the same way with mm -hmm. your kids. I'm the same way with mine. I'm yep. like, I'm going to pay for it. You want to go to UNLV or mm -hmm. UNR paid for. Yeah. If you want to go for your master's, if it's something that you're going to make money when you like a CPA or mm -hmm. a law degree or medical, I'll pay for that. Yeah. But if you're going to go for fucking jerking off and ham sandwiches for your masters. <laughs> yeah. Fuck off. Fuck that. I'm not fucking paying for that. You, you pay for that. that. Yeah. You pay for that. That's I'm not, I'm not investing my money into that. Mm -hmm. Understandable. Um, but that's, but you have your kids and the fastest you can get snipped. I get snipped. You get fucking snipped. And then it's like, it's like Disney world every goddamn day when you're, when you're with a woman. Cause wow. they're, they're always worried about getting pregnant and all that. You're mm -hmm. like, nope. I already have my babies. I'm good. I have two. Love them both. They're awesome. Yeah. 14 and seven. Great. I got snipped. Every girl now is like, oh, you just snipped. I'm like, <laughs> I put in the journey, Spotify fucking playlist. No and way. It's, it's Squirtorama. It's Squirtorama. Fucking, I'm fucking Henderson, Nevada. Damn, It's, bro. it's awesome. It's wow. awesome. All right, back to you. Enough about squirting. <laughs> People are like, the fuck is going on? <laughs> it's awesome. I, I promise you'll never be on a podcast again like this. No, yeah, this is, this is very unique. Yeah, I've never it, been on a podcast. People, and the thing is, people are like, oh my God, this is hysterical. When can I come back on? Or like yeah. Natasha's like, I have people that want to come on. I'm like, mm -hmm. have them call me. Yeah. Call my assistant. Come on in. Mm -hmm. Just there's no, to me, it's being just really open mm -hmm. and just being true to yourself. Yeah. And we're not here to sell anything. Exactly. We're not here to pimp anything out. Yeah. It's just let's share life experiences mm -hmm. and have fun. Yeah. And we talk for an hour or so. And that's it. Yeah, just be yourself. And in like another four to six weeks, it gets pushed all over the place. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh my God. Yeah. So for you, what are your main goals right now? Like what, what's your focus on right now? Just kind of scaling what you're doing and getting out and traveling more to do more cars or yeah. canvas or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Um, one of my goals is uh, I'm building an art label. You know, music labels, they have, they sign artists. I'm doing the same thing with art though, like signing painters to the label. And like, I'm the first one to ever do this. Really? Yeah. yeah. Let's talk more about that. Yeah. So like, um, basically I'm, I'm giving these artists a platform and to sell their art and giving them exposure and also teaching them how to sell the art, how to brand themselves, how to, um, become like a true artist. So it's <sighs> kind of like a, it's kind of like just building artists, you know what I'm saying? And signing them, putting them on and like galleries, they take 50%. We're not even going to take 50%. So it's like, because that and that encourages them yeah to do even more mm -hmm. because if they're smart with the yeah. money they make they're mm -hmm. going to double down on themselves exactly and that gives them more creativity because mm -hmm. when the bills are like every, people that say money isn't everything yeah. has never made five hundred thousand dollars a year yeah i'm exactly. sorry mm -hmm. but when you're making at that level mm -hmm. and the bills are paid yeah i can breathe yeah. right no. yeah and so for you to do that to let your horses run mm -hmm. and they're entrepreneurs still, yeah. but a lot of them will be timid. Like yeah. if you can give them business advice, exactly. you know, and coach them up. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Have you, is this, has this launched already? No, it's not, it's not launched yet, but it's, it's in the works. It's about to be launched very soon. And you're going to launch it, be based out of Miami. Yeah. Based out of Miami. And it'll be like, will it be digital that people can come in like on zoom, whatever. And yeah, it'll be digital and physical. So everything. Okay. Yeah. And the label's called art beast. It's fucking good, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. That's fucking good. When yeah. are you looking to launch? Within um, reason. 2024. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So sometime next year. Yeah. Dude, when you do, let me know. For sure. Like either we'll get your ass back out here mm -hmm. or I'll come out there and I'll bring Scott because yeah. I can't travel without him because okay. every other podcaster I saw sucks. He's the man. Yeah. And we'll do an episode like at your gallery or at like, we'll do something like yeah. that. Let's do it. Yeah. Would be Oh, dude, That'd that, be fire. That's that's fucking fun. Let's do it. That that's fun. Oh, so yeah. talk to me about like with now scaling up. Are you doing like more cars? Do you have more like celebrities or more people in general yeah. just hitting you up? Yeah, it's just like because now like my art is 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 very expensive. So like now like it's it's not about how many people are buying my buying my art. Who's buying my art? Because it's like it has to be somebody high value network to buy my art to afford it. So it's like I'm selling less pieces, but I'm making more money. 
How much does a piece of your art cost? Uh, nothing less than twenty thousand. Okay, yeah. and that's a that's a specific person. Yeah. Are they investors? Some are investors. Some just like the art, love, and they just have money. They just want they just want to have cool art. Some invest. So one of my friends, uh, I painted his Rolls Royce, and he sold it for an extra hundred thousand because the art was on there. I love that. Yeah. I. Love that. Cause I, I think that you are a, as an investor, yeah, I would be a buy and hold investor with your stuff, mm -hmm. whether it's a painting or even a car. Yeah. I would take that car and put it somewhere mm -hmm. like in my garage and have it freaking covered up and sealed and yeah. no one could, no shit could get to it mm -hmm. and have a climate controlled and leave it there yeah. and let it sit and exactly. then bring it out in four five, six years mm -hmm. ago. Oh, this is what I've got. Yep. It's what's one of one. That's so true. You know, That's so true. Do you ever do anything like a little like plate or anything on the inside, like with your signature? Like, do you sign the outside yeah, I, of everything I, I, like yeah, that? Yeah, I signed the outside of the car. It's so and awesome. They, and they come with a certificate of authenticity. That's badass, man. Yeah. Are, now, are you, do you have a business manager or is this all you? You're doing it all yourself. Yeah, I mean, I have a manager, yeah, but we do the business together. Like, so, cause I, I love business. So, like I'm in, I'm in the whole mix as well. Which is so unheard of for someone with an artistic brain. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's true. Cause most artists, mm -hmm. are, they, they die young, mm -hmm. you know, suicide, drugs, mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. But you're balanced. Mm -hmm. That's unheard of. Yeah. Like that's super cool that you're involved in the business aspect of mm -hmm. it as well. Like whose idea was it to do the school? That was my idea. That's yeah brilliant mm -hmm. and to make it affordable yeah and to get that out to people to go well you could this is what i did mm -hmm. and if you want to come along yeah. either hop on this zoom or mm -hmm. swing by my place in miami exactly and pay x mm -hmm. and for this amount of time and yep. then this is what you're going to get for deliverables exactly um back mm -hmm. i think for for most people it's the like what questions and they don't know what questions to even ask yeah. Where you can say, well, I've been doing this for this many years mm -hmm. and these are the questions that I already have answered for you. Yeah. And that's what you get when you, you know, pay in your, your tuition it's to the school. Exactly. Right. So true. What, um, how do you like Vegas, by the way? Vegas, um, be honest. It's chill. I can only be here for like three days. Oh, <laughs> I can't heart. be here longer than three days. It's, it's exhausting. Yeah, it is. Right. On yeah. the strip. Yeah. I it's haven't exhausting. even been on the strip. I, I can't go on the strip. It's no? Too crazy. Yeah. It's too crazy for me. It's, uh, I've lived here 11 years mm -hmm. and I never go to the strip. Wow. Hardly ever. Like I went to see you two, a buddy of mine came in from Long Island mm -hmm. two weeks ago. So went to Palazzo and then walked over. It was awesome. Wow. Like if you ever get a chance to go see a show at, the, at Sphere, it's mm -hmm. incredible. Wow. Like perfect acoustics. Mm -hmm. It's all LED. Like I took two gummies ahead of time. It was fucking great. <laughs> fucking great. <laughs> fucking great. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, but. The strip itself, like Fremont Street and all that, is mm -hmm. exhausting. Yeah, it's so exhausting. It's just wow. not. And the cool part about Vegas is that we have so many restaurants off the strip mm -hmm. that are banging. Really? Oh. What's dude. your favorite one? Um, Probably my favorite, favorite one is going to be Echo and Rig. It's a steakhouse. Okay. I don't know if you're a meat guy or not. Yeah, I love but steaks. They have a butcher shop and they have a second location, Henderson. Original one's in Summerlin. Oh, wow. Um, over in, uh, in Tivoli Village. Mm -hmm. And they have a second floor is a restaurant. The first floor is a butcher shop. Mm. And they have these pork belly, like bacon appetizer. It's on a skewer Damn. with barbecue sauce on the side. Dude, whenever you're in town again, let me know. I'm Hell taking yeah. your ass there. Well, I'm down. And I tell people, I go, put it on your tongue like it's a lozenge and just suck on it. <laughs> Don't chew that shit. You fucking suck on it and Yo. you're welcome. <laughs> and people are like, oh my God. <laughs> it's, yeah. And they have like a, um, they have like the hanger steaks. Like the giant fucking steaks, I mean, all the sides and all that. Yeah. It's just, it's good. You're paying 30 to 40 percent less mm -hmm. than what you pay on the strip. Same quality, excellent customer service. The servers are fantastic. Wow. They make a good drink. Crazy. It's what's happened is that here you have these chefs that are sous chefs, usually like second in charge mm -hmm. at a big on strip celebrity chef location. Yeah. And they're sick of the corporate bullshit. Wow. So they go off on their own. Yeah, exactly. And they've, they're either self-funded or mm -hmm. they grab money from investors yep. and they open up a, you know, a nice little place. And next thing you know, boom, boom. they take off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Echo and Rig is great. Okay. Um, Herbs and Rye is okay. over this way. Herbs and Rye is wonderful. Wow. It's dark, but the food is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next time you're in town, let me know. And off the record, None of no phones, no social media. We'll just go break bread together. All right, bet. Yeah, Let's do we'll it. go, and I'll take you to some of the best places in town. Fire that I go to, and it's just good food. And mm -hmm. to, I was raised. All, I'm from upstate New York. Oh, okay, all my friends are Italian. 
Mm-hmm. All of my friends, Roman Catholic Italians. So wow. if I, to eat with somebody is the ultimate in building a relationship with somebody, yeah. male or female, mm-hmm. to say, let's eat together because mm-hmm. that's such an emotional thing to do. It really is. Right? Yeah, it really So is. what word, like when you're in Miami, what do you get to eat usually? Man, uh, my favorite spot's uh, the spot called Pure Vita. It's a dope, um, it's like a sandwich spot. Um, what do you get? It's uh, the pesto chicken sandwich. Oh. So good. And they got the mango salmon bowl. Oh, Jesus so Christ. So fire. Dude. And um, I like to go to um, Poppy Steak. I like to go to um, uh, Komodo. You ever been to Miami? I was in Miami in mm-hmm. July yeah. for two days before I went on a, on a cruise with my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. But that was it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah. They have dope restaurants. I was, I was out in South Beach and that's it. Yeah, the restaurants in Miami. Did are the fun. whole thing on South Beach with all, like we stayed in one of those hotels right across from the ocean mm-hmm. and did all that shit. Wow. It was amazing. Like, yeah. I'll, I'd go back. It was, yeah. it was awesome. Mm-hmm. And like I said, I've never seen more beautiful people yeah. in the world mm-hmm. than South Beach. Yeah, South Beach. Like those women are, I asked one guy, we had this gay guy was our server, our waiter. He was good looking. (laughs) I go, go bring me one of the goddamn dish kids. I bet he's an eight. (laughs) And they're all dying laughing. That's crazy. There's no like ugly people Mm -hmm. in the service industry. Yeah. Or or even hanging out for the Mm -hmm. most part. Unless you're like really old and got a shitload of money. Yeah. Then you could wear a fucking Speedo with a gut hanging out. (laughs) fucking your sugar baby with you from fucking exactly. seating arrangements or whatever and, I know, right? and have a good time. So how much are you traveling now? Shitload? Um, yeah, we're, we're actually on tour right now, just traveling, traveling. So how long are you here for and then where's next? So we're here until Sunday morning. We go to LA Sunday morning. We got uh, more cars to paint out there and then we're going back to New York to go paint more cars out there and then after New York is um, got to go back to Miami. Yeah, we're just all over, bro. We're all over right now. Are you... Um, like, how do you balance everything? Because that's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. Do you balance? Like, do you meditate? Do you do yoga? Yeah, do you work out? I mean, yeah, I, I wake up, I meditate. Some, some days, it's hard to meditate every day, but like... It's hard. Yeah, yeah. I, hard I, I'm there. Yeah. Make sure you have balance. Yeah. Because when you're 27 years old, mm-hmm. you think you can conquer the fucking world. Yeah. Because there's more grains of sand here mm-hmm. than in here in your hourglass. Yeah. Right? And as someone that's 20 years older than you, mm-hmm. more, it's... Be sure to make sure that your your battery is at like at least 70% at all times. Yeah. And if you feel it going down, mm-hmm. walk away for a little bit. Yeah. And just take the time to, usa. Mm-hmm. what do I have to do? And just put yourself in a happy place. Yeah. Or so go true. away on vacation somewhere and, uh, you know, no painting, no social media, no nothing. Yeah, exactly. And just recharge. Mm-hmm. And you know, that I, I can't impress upon that on you enough. Yeah. Just as friends. That when you feel your battery getting low, mm-hmm. listen to that. For sure. It's not about the money. Yeah, Money's true. always going to be yeah, there. Always money comes and goes. Money yeah. comes and goes. It's yeah. you. Mm-hmm. And for you to be the best version of you mm-hmm. as often as possible, yeah. you need to be at maximum efficiency and productivity. Mm-hmm. You need to be happy. Yeah, that's true. With what you do. I do this. I give a fuck. Yeah. And love it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not talking to spot. People want to fucking pay me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. That's what it's about. Hey, this you know, to be, you know, it's just to me, it's it's, it's mind boggling. Mm-hmm. And, and you're you're higher than me with it, but it's. I, I think that the more you're in touch with who you are as a person, yeah. What are there vehicles that you love to paint, or the vehicles you don't like to paint, or that you'll say no to? Yeah, I would definitely say no to. I, I mean, I only paint like exotic or luxury vehicles, like vehicles over three hundred thousand dollars. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. So, yeah. What, what is the goofiest request or some of the goofiest requests you've ever had? Um, somebody asked me to, uh, <laughs> damn, what do they want me to paint? They asked me to paint, man, what was the craziest? Uh, Their kid? what it was. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it was some weird An shit. ex-wife? I forgot what, <clears throat> what it was. It was like, I don't remember though, but. That was some weird, but that was a long time ago. I haven't got any weird requests. Lately. Do you do you now say no to people, or do yeah. you, your people say no to people? Yeah, I say no to people. What what constitutes a no? So I mean, Atlanta? if it uh, takes too much of my time, or if um, it doesn't align with my vision, then I'm going to say no. It's not not about the money. It's just about like oh, you, someone could pay you a million dollars right now, mm-hmm. and for some thing that you don't that doesn't align with your vision yeah. i love how you said that mm-hmm. that doesn't align with your vision yeah. and you're gonna lose a hundred million dollars mm-hmm. over the course of your life and your career mm-hmm. because of 
people saw you do that and go, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, he's doing a fucking Prius. Exactly. Like, what the shit? You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. You know, and there could be some sheik in Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. that's got a stable of Bugatti Veyrons yeah. and says, I don't want this motherfucker. He just did a goddamn Honda Prelude <laughs> exactly. from the 90s. Yeah. You know, what the shit? Mm -hmm. Now, what if somebody, what if like Drake came to you and said, hey, man, I love what you've done. I think this is great. I love the painting it did for me. Um, I just bought my daughter a Dodge Challenger. Would you paint it? <laughs> Would you do that? I mean, dude, that's a different story. That's a I'm different just, story. I gotta ask. That's that. That's I a different ask. story. That's a different story. I'll do it. You would do that? Yeah, yeah I'll do it. Because yeah. <clears throat> it's Drake. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'll do it. These motherfuckers out there, if they're asking their Dodge Challenger, they can fucking pound sand. <laughs> they're all very nice guys, but they can fucking pound sand. Yeah, exactly. Right? Once they get up above 300K. <laughs> yeah. And you got to see the bill of sale. Mm -hmm. It can't be some like used, <laughs> used car thing yeah. that somebody, you know, got and it's a 1998, you know, Bentley. Yeah, hell no. No. Mm -hmm. um, who are some of your favorite people that you've worked with so um, far that you've done work for? Like, who are, who's just cool? Uh, DJ Khaled is very cool. 6ix9ine uh, is actually very cool. He's a genuine dude, person. Um, is he the guy that did the whole documentary on? Is, is that him? Did he like do time? He was like face tattoos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. with the rainbow hair. He's crazy. No, yeah, he, he was. He they did a whole thing like on Netflix or Hulu. I was like, holy shit, God bless him. Yeah, but he just yeah, he's he's hardcore. Yeah, that, that, but in person, he's really not <clears throat> like that in person. He's a genuine dude. You know really, saying? yeah, that's I feel awesome. Like he portrays that image on the internet. You know, what I saying? love to hear that to get like the the people riled up and start fucking controversy and. You know what I'm saying? The but troll. they start talking. Yeah. And then, you, then your audience goes up. And yeah, the next thing, more people want to get money. Yeah. Like more people because you have more people, bigger audience. Yeah. Um, who else? Uh, who else? Um, I like uh, <coughs> Chris Brown was cool. Um, my homie um, Tyler Yahweh is cool. Um, who else was cool that I worked with? Uh, Bob Marley's son is like the coolest ever. He's got to be. Was that yeah. be high? Of course. He's, he's got to be. <laughs> He's 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 Chineseized the yeah, whole time. Yeah, yeah. Like he's lit like a tree. Bless yeah, his heart. It's, it's cool, Rohan, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's awesome. Mm -hmm. No shade. That's awesome. Um, who are some people like do you have a bucket list of people that you'd like to work with? Yeah, of course. Who? Uh Kanye West, Pharrell. Um, who else is on my bucket list? I want to work with like big brands like Lamborghini. Like I want to have my own Lamborghini, you know what I'm saying? Collab with Atlanta, Lamborghini. I want to work with Nike, Louis Vuitton, like these big brands. You know what I'm saying? Have you put stuff out there? Yeah, yeah. To let yeah. them know. Yeah, yeah, I have. Good I for have. you, man. Mm -hmm. Good yeah. for you. We will be. There'll be a short getting pulled from this. We'll be tagging them. Hell yeah. On all that shit. Yeah. Because it's it's again it's a like death by a thousand cuts. It's mm -hmm. relationship by a thousand different touches. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the more like say it's Kanye. Yeah. And that it's. All of a sudden, he keeps seeing this and this. They're his people. Mm -hmm. Started seeing stuff. And yeah. Like, Who's this Atlanta guy? All of a sudden, next thing you know, you're getting a phone call. Mm -hmm. You know, or your guys are getting a call. Yeah. To say, hey, get your ass out here, mm -hmm. wherever he is. That's so true. Oh, that would be a whole. <laughs> we got to talk after that. Even just like a phone call. Just call me. I know. And like, all right, Jeff, this is how he was. It'll mm -hmm. stay between us. Yeah. I'm just dying to know. Yeah. Because he's well, he's on the spectrum, and which is fine. That's mm -hmm. most of the smartest people in the world. Elon Musk on the yeah. spectrum, and he's admitted it. And it's now like he just, he's on a journey. Mm -hmm. That man is on a journey. Big journey, yeah. A big fucking yeah. journey. Mm -hmm. And like, I'm an old school, like I, I was raised by a public enemy. Wow, is my, yeah, like Big Daddy Kane. Mm -hmm. Like that's my stuff. Yeah. And so any of the newer stuff, I don't like, I'm supposed to go to a thing Future? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Future. No idea who he is. I got invited to his birthday party Saturday <laughs> night. Saturday, yeah. I'll probably be the only white guy in there. Mm -hmm. But I'll, I'll still <laughs> probably go because I'll meet great people mm -hmm. to come on my podcast. Like, I don't I don't give a fuck. Exactly. You know, and I've got friends that are going like, oh, I'll get you a ticket. I'm like, okay, fine. Yeah. Over Virgin. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Future. I'm Jeff Fargo. How you doing? Fargo talking. Well, come in sometime. Let's shoot the shit. Yeah, exactly. You know, and it's just... The, the funny part, because you, you're on pods all the time now, mm -hmm. I assume, right? Yeah, all the time. There's no better way for you to get your brand out mm -hmm. than to be doing these as much yeah, as, yeah, possible, as possible. As possible. You know, mm -hmm. and you vet them and make sure they have a decent audience. I saw you did uh, Green Room. Yeah. True is my, I love True. Mm -hmm. True's the man. Yeah. Oh, cool. we were, oh, we just got all fucked up a couple of weeks ago. I was on there and wow. oh, let's just hope they edit. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. But it's for, for you. It's funny because back when I was younger, if a celebrity or somebody is out, you're going to radio shows, mm -hmm. you know, or you're going to 
the local news yep. and you're part of that local news thing, their morning show mm-hmm. and Hey, here's Art Lana. And they fucking praise you out there. And it's like, motherfucker, you yeah, know, it's so true. Here we are on the parking lot with a fucking Ferrari <laughs> that Art Lana just did. And you're mm-hmm. like, eh, you know, and now it's much more deep. Yeah. Because you control the narrative. Exactly. Right. So true. That if, if you're in a podcast and that you don't like it, you're like, mm-hmm. dude, I'm out. Go fuck yourself. I'm gone. <laughs> which hopefully it never happens. Yeah. It never happened to me. Mm-hmm. But it's you have much more control over the future of your voice. Yeah, that's so true. Right. Yeah. And that I, I can't impress upon that you enough that whenever you're going to travel any city that you're doing legwork ahead of time, I go, who has a big pod there? Mm. Who's got a big one? Who's my audience? Mm-hmm. Who am I trying to get in front of to build my audience? Wow. And who's got a pod that? That's their audience. Like yeah. I know right now that I'm six to 800,000 uh, people unique a month. Wow. And there's 70% men. Wow. Yep. 34 mm. to uh, 45. Mm. That's my demo. Wow. I know it cold. That's crazy. I know it cold. Wow. And every person whose podcast you go on should know that. Mm-hmm. And if they don't. Yeah. <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> fuck them. And to look at their Instagram mm-hmm. and you look at how many followers they have and 10% of those followers should be reaching with their reels. Yeah. So if you've got a hundred thousand followers, mm-hmm. you should be averaging 10,000 every reel. Yeah. And most people don't know that. Mm-hmm. And it's the motherfucker paid for his fans, mm-hmm. paid for his followers. Mm-hmm. It's bot farms yeah. in fucking Sri Lanka. Exactly. For Christ's sake. Mm-hmm. So no one's going to see it. So you yep. avoid them like the plague. Yeah. So true. Right. Yeah. And so it's just, and you're already doing it, but I just, mm-hmm. I feel like you're my, you're my son. It's hysterical because <laughs> it, 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 we look so alike. It's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you know, cracking it's, me up, it's, it's like the fucking, uh, what is it? Uh, Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger twins. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, but, but do that research mm-hmm. that makes sure that it's legit, yeah. that the audiences are legit mm-hmm. and they've got like, and look at their YouTube yeah, and see if they're like, I do YouTube shorts every day, mm-hmm. every day. Wow. And I would say that I'm now like, I don't have a big audience, but I've got five to six X of my audience looking at my shorts every day. Wow. Because they push organic stuff out. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so that's that's the the jam is to be pushing out for you two to three times a day. Yeah. 30 seconds or less. Mm-hmm. Once a week, one minute or more yeah. of what you're doing. Rinse, repeat. Yeah. On YouTube, mm-hmm. on Instagram reels, populate to stories, yep. Facebook, Facebook stories, exactly. TikTok, mm-hmm. Twitter, X. Everything. Mm-hmm. Everything. Everything. It's like, you, I love to go deep sea fishing. Yeah. When you go deep sea fishing, you know, you put 15 lines in the water. Mm-hmm. Well, it's the same thing with social media. Yeah. If you're just taking all your content mm-hmm. and you're just like Instagram, 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 you are, uh, you're driving a 16 cylinder supercar with three cylinders moving. Yeah, that's true. Right. Mm-hmm. And so you just keep putting this stuff out. And the yeah. next thing you know, your, your guys are getting pinged mm-hmm. by somebody yeah. Going, hey, uh, we just saw this. Uh, mm-hmm. This is like, we want to talk more about it. Yeah. And I'm the business manager of mm-hmm. whoever. Yeah. You know, and it's someone that aligns with you. It's powerful to say no. It's, yeah, it is. And it's nothing that you advertise, mm-hmm. but word gets out. Yeah. If everyone knows that Celebrity X mm-hmm. is a motherfucker. Yeah. And has hundreds of millions of dollars, but you said no to him or her, mm-hmm. that skyrockets your brand. Yeah, exactly. Because you give a shit, mm-hmm. my friend. So true. You give a shit. Yeah. And I knew it when you said, you know, you started this when you were, you know, a kid, mm-hmm. but it didn't really take off until 2000. Yeah. So that makes you were 24 then? 20, 24. 25? 24. 2000. Yeah, 24. 24. So 2020, right? Yeah. So, so you're 24 yeah. years old. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Yeah. I, I was barely mastering the art of jerking off at 24. <laughs> and, and you're uh, launching like this, you know, yeah. this thing that has had now a global presence. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Like, so w- what brought you to Tokyo? Tokyo? Oh, so this guy, he is, um, his name is Motohoshi. He's the Lamborghini legend. Like, he has over 100 Lamborghinis. So he hits me up. He's like, yo, come paint one of his Lamborghinis out there. So they flew me out to Tokyo. I painted Dude. his fucking land. Every- Where did you fly? Uh, like fucking, Japan Airlines or something like yeah, that. Yeah, fucking what's the name of that shit? I forgot. They put you up front. 
Yeah, yeah. Motherfucker, yeah, life flat seats. Yeah, yeah. And the girls with the slanted pussies bringing the fucking, <laughs> bringing the fucking fortune cookies and everything else and fucking lo mein yeah. or whatever else. Well, not lo mein, but sushi or whatever. <laughs> no, the awesome. food out there is amazing. You know, the food in, in Japan. That's, that's, Tokyo is one town that I've never been to and I want to go. Mm. What, talk like, what were like some of the biggest things that you were like, oh my God, like earth shattering in, about in Tokyo? Tokyo? Man, like, <clears throat> just, it's, it was so small, but it was crazy. Like, People are driving around in like the Mario go karts on the street, like just Come driving on. around. Really? Yeah. Like it shit was like a fucking video game. You're like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> shit is insane. That's hysterical. Yeah. Well, Crazy. and they're, they're smaller people anyway. So I'm 6'3. I couldn't. You have to crisscross my obliques <laughs> yeah, to fucking exactly. get on that shit. And so, like the billboards out there, like 3D billboards, like comes out the side of this fucking shit. Like it's just so crazy out there. And what, wh how was the food? Food is amazing. The sushi, the ramen, like. The quality was just, it was just there. And how were you treated? Treated amazing. Like they, they treat love you. you. Respect. Like they bow to you. Like treat you with respect. So it's like, yo, and they love me out there. Like, I, I think they're one of the last cultures mm -hmm. that they're taught respect. Yeah. It's not here. Mm, yeah, definitely. <laughs> fucking ain't fucking in the United States. <laughs> we have a president can probably goddamn stand up. <laughs> exactly. You know, and that's the one thing with the Japanese culture mm -hmm. are very respectful, yeah, very. very respectful to their elders. Mm -hmm. Like they take care of their yeah, freaking parents. They do. They take care of their grandparents. Mm -hmm. They work their asses off. Exactly. And boom, boom, boom. And that's what they do. What is one city that you've been to once that you'd go back to again in a second? Um, Dubai. How come? Tell me, tell me about Dubai. Dubai is because every time I went there, I had a great time. Like, Dubai is it's kind of similar to Tokyo because it's like clean. There's no crime in Dubai. Zero. You can leave your Rolls Royce on and leave the key on the hood for two days and nobody will take it. You can fucking you awesome. can leave your wallet in the middle of the mall. They'll return it to you. Like it's so it's so so nice out there and the clubs out there are fun. They like to party and they treat you with respect. It's just amazing. That's yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you go back there in a second. Yeah, yeah. The city's beautiful. Like the sky, they had the tallest building in the world, the tallest hotel. Well, in the that's world. it. That like, hotel is bananas. Yeah, yeah it's fucking crazy. So it's that's, like, are you afraid of heights? Yeah, I don't like heights. Did you go to the top of it? No, nah, I didn't. I, I didn't go to the top of that. I wouldn't fuck that, man. I do. Fuck that. I go stratosphere here. I'm like, like my kids. I'm like, we can go now. <laughs> I can't eat gummies because I'm with my kids. But Yo. I'm like, God damn it, let's go. Yeah. That some of that stuff is um, it's cool, but I wouldn't. Yeah, I'm not doing Do that. it in a second. How is the food in Dubai? Food in Dubai is good. Like, I had um, chicken shawarma. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that, chicken shawarma. Yeah, yeah, man. Psh, that was some of the best I've ever had out there. Like, so good. And I had um, I had this spot called The Trove. I actually know the owner. It's called The Trove. It's in Dubai Mall. The best food ever. Best. And they have all types of food. Like, all... Um, they have Japanese food. They have um, African food. It's all types of food. It's just amazing there, bro. You should do a gallery there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody keeps telling me that. You should do a, a, do a car gallery yeah. there mm -hmm. where have it in the contract with the person. Most of them are going to drive them anyways. Yeah. Is to say, hey, I'm gonna, I'll pay your car for you. Mm -hmm. You're going to pay me 50 grand. Yeah. But also I get to display it for three months mm -hmm. at my, you know, at my, my studio yeah. in, in Dubai. That is crazy. That that would be a good idea, actually. And you're gonna and and motherfucker, you're mm -hmm. gonna pay for freight and shipping and everything. Yeah, that is actually a good idea. I've already did. Writing that down, boys. <laughs> <laughs> they take a note. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> they don't fucking care. I already did three it's cars fun. out there too in Dubai. Dude, I I think that if there's any city mm -hmm. that's business friendly with fuck you money. It's Dubai. It's Dubai. Right? Like yeah. the real city with fuck you money is like fucking Moscow, the oligarchs, but we can't go there. Mm -hmm. Someday maybe. But Dubai, business friendly. Yeah. You love them and they love you. Mm -hmm. So your brand is already credible there. Yeah. To say, you talk to someone there and go, hey, give me a deal on mm -hmm. some space. And I want to, you know, showcase three, four or five cars yep. and have it rotate every quarter mm -hmm. or whatever. And then you just talk to people, especially if it's someone that's famous. Yeah. Right? And then they're like, yeah, go ahead. They're not going to drive it. Exactly. They're not, please. Mm -hmm. And they've got 14 other fucking cars they're going to drive. Exactly. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but for you, mm -hmm. again, I'm a business guy, entrepreneur yeah. stuff, and I always try to help out my friends. I'm mm -hmm. like, you should look at doing something like that. Or idea. even beta test it in Miami at first. Mm -hmm. If you can get cheap space, yeah. beta test it there because, well, we know we need this much space and car clearance and mm -hmm. weight bearing and yeah. everything else, mm -hmm. right? Zoning, like what do we yeah, need? Exactly. Get everything ironed out maybe in Miami for a year or two and then go, let's take this thing global. Mm -hmm. 
you know, like if there's people, I mean, Tokyo real estate's crazy, yeah, it but is. you got people with money and they're going to mm-hmm. back you to go, you know what? We'll, we'll help you out with this. Yeah. We would do that. Mm-hmm. She says, wow, that's a good idea. Um, take that one. Wow. My friend, if anything you learned that. from this at all, yeah, yeah, I, I, I think that. that you should be looking at multiple ways to not make money, mm-hmm. but tell your story. Yeah. You know, and whether it's podcasts, mm-hmm. social media, galleries, yeah. uh, you know, that if, if anything, find people that you can paint their car, but mm-hmm. then say, now find me a gallery that we could put in for three months. Wow. It's a good idea. Especially mm-hmm. LA. Mm-hmm. There's a shitload of galleries there. A lot yeah. of them are fucking hurting mm-hmm. for, you know, space or for hurting for content. Yeah. And so for you to go in and go, well, here's XYZ guy that's mm-hmm. got a roles and this is what it looks like. I want to put it here. Wow. Um, I think that would be a huge draw for you mm-hmm. and do a big thing, like a big ribbon cutting and here's yeah. the car and all that. And then people just start coming in. I like that. You know, and do some type of thing where people can get their picture, they take a selfie with it, yeah. do a hashtag, you know, Artlanta, mm-hmm. LA, whatever. Like and then that. that becomes trending and then off you go. Wow, that's amazing. I'm here to help, my friend. I appreciate that. That's I'm good, here to help. Good knowledge. Um, thank you for coming in. Well, thank you for having you're, me. You're a good man. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I did some research on you ahead of time because mm-hmm. I, I love Natasha and she yeah. was like, you've got to meet Atlanta. Mm-hmm. You've got to come on your podcast, Jeff. I'm like, okay, honey. I, I would, she reminds me of like, if the Spice Girls had a love child, <laughs> cause she's beautiful, yeah. positive, mm-hmm. funny. Yeah. And it's just, and, but also like her own F it's like serious conversations about shit. Mm-hmm. And she's very just, she's got a big heart. Yeah, she does. You know, and she's mm-hmm. a good person. So shout out to my friend Natasha for yeah. getting us together because to it's, um, this has been great. Yeah. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, brother. Thank you for having me.